All right, how's everyone feeling out there? Yeah, we're doing it. We're making it happen. Uh, happy to have Jeff here. Jeff, Jeff is, uh, has been uh, here every week and just uh, you know supporting everybody. Uh, and uh, it's always awesome to have him here uh, because I love what he does. So put your hands up, buddy. Jeff Reddy. Thank you. Uh, hey, Can you do me a favor to turn the camera so that uh, it's not being pointing that way, please? <laughs> Thank you. I've got two songs I gave a melody. I may just sing them once in a while. Good evening, everybody. Hi to all the friends out there that are watching this online. Uh, I want to send a special get well soon to my friend Bob's wife, Beth. And I uh, hope you're feeling better soon. I wish you could be here. So once again, I'm humbled and I'm grateful to Brent for allowing me to share the stage with all these great musicians. This is Matt Angeloni from Vanity Crash. And together, we're major. That's our initials. So I'm excited and also nervous tonight because this is actually my songwriting debut. And uh, over the years, um, I've paid tribute to a lot of musicians who have died. And tonight is no exception. Um, for the 10th anniversary of Mark Bowen's death, I did an hour-long program for my show, Vimac TV, and also when uh, Lennon died, the 10th anniversary of 1990. So, tonight is no different, and I can't get this to stick. Okay, good. So, the dreaded words. The program is subject to change. <laughs> so originally we were going to do um, a Cockney Rebel tune, but uh, then Jimmy Buffett. So we're going to do this beautiful ballad off the Changes in Latitudes album, um, just to prove that Jimmy Buffett is not just Margaritaville and she's bitter in paradise. And also, it's special to me personally because when I was in the Navy and stationed in Pensacola, I had the best lobster dinner I ever had in Bullocks. Girls are dancing in the sea. They all look like sisters in the ocean. Or who feel his pain? Salty water and the stones roll off towards the ocean. Is filled with vapors from the sea. The poor will be a pool beside the ocean. He sees creatures from his dreams underwater. And some will sail to walk towards the morning. Yeah. 
television show Mark that uh, gave Generation X and the Jam their first television exposure and ended his long-standing feud with David Bowie in what would ultimately be the sixth and final episode of the show, Bowie was once again on the ascendant. But in 1969, a year before he won Electric with the hit single The Ride of White Swan, he self-published this book of poetry called The Wall Warlock of Love. There are only 5,000 copies of this book in existence. I found two. At the time, he was still a hippie folkster and released four albums with percussionist Steve Peregrine took as Tyrannosaurus Rex and singing about fairies and other fantasy themes. And his poetry was no different. So, you know, I'm a poem. I had put music to two of those poems. And uh, I gotta tell you, I am somewhat nervous here because this also marks my debut as a songwriter. So I hope you enjoy this. Hang on.
skirts of the earth in ever decreasing cycles. One for Xavier and the other for The carp carved kinglet of OCNT and Incus. Finn Brown. Finn Brown. Like the foggy hot force of sky, it's 